What was my mother about? I don't know. Uh, H to the something when the universe is something else. I I'm not so good at equations. That's too bad. I bet if we could solve my younger self's problem, he'd be more inclined to listen to you. <laughs> Graham, can I buy teals? You can fucking have them for free. <laughs> you can fucking take the cunt. <laughs> but I doubt you'll like it. There's my song on again. You know, your younger self seems really dedicated to the law. Minus <laughs> 10 pounds. <laughs> I, I had to keep up appearances to appease my father. You can fucking have them. He's a cunt. He's, ch he's chewing on a fucking piece of bow oh, or something now. Man, what a dickhead. Give me ten pound for tails. <laughs> I'm waiting on the Plumbus giveaway. I should try and create one and do a giveaway of a Plumbus. Try and make it out of like... Fuck it. Paper mache and send it off. Uh, what do I do? Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just thought of something. Okay. Uh, what if I try and. Because I do have a recorder, don't I? I have a. Yeah. What if I use this on him? Ah! <laughs> Come back, Emmett! Emmett! Will you just give me a chance? No! <laughs> Another hairbrush masterpiece. That was, and then I lost my hairbrush. I lost my hairbrush at my uh, portal gun on Halloween night. And then I found some drunk man had it in his pocket. <laughs> Drunk guy had it in his pocket. Hey, that's mine! Another hairbrush masterpiece. Got it. What the fuck? There we go. Oh, think, Emma. Think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Put tails on the giveaway. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> he doesn't like traveling. Uh, he doesn't like traveling in uh, in cars, so I don't think it would be like like to travel on a plane. Frank is showing how to use role playing mode. A few people do that on my stream as well at times. How close the escape plan? So that does this ring a bell? You're progressing well in this game. Is that meant to be a joke? <laughs> I'll teleport him. Mess up the time stream. Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two dimensional membrane. So it'll be fine. I only understood two. I'm doing science, I only, only understood two parts of that. <laughs> what was H again? The Hamiltonian operator. Got it. I only understood membrane and particles. Not the best choice of words, Marty. <laughs> when I first played this game, I couldn't get past the first chapter. It is, it is tricky. Like it is a tricky, dicky game. Can you just give me a chance. Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Insane in the membrane. <laughs> Equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe Tails, go away. Hamiltonian operator. Go. Yeah. 
Stop biting on my cables. At least it wasn't in there. That's it. That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week. I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? I'm from the planet Vulcan. And from the future, I read a lot of Julius Verne's. I'm gonna say I'm from the planet Vulcan. <laughs> uh, it's like this. If you know about my rocket power drill, then there can only be one explanation. What? Yeah, why doesn't he do that? I confess I didn't quite know what Why doesn't he just tell him that he's falling around? Yeah, like he's he's into the law, like what can I do for you? Maybe he's enjoying the chase. I I need your rocket drill. I really need your rocket drill. I really, really need your rocket drill. Can I see your rocket power drill. Of course, of course. Naturally it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. <laughs> uh, I need a full operational model. I need it tonight. Now nah, it's no good. I need to see a full size model. <gasps> That's fully operational. <gasps> tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done. I mean, it might be possible to construct a full size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel. I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol. And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. It's part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill what finished the fuck? by tonight. <laughs> just went, Jeet. Here's the subpoena. It just went, Jeet. I've got a subpoena my grandpa. <gasps> it's Kid Tannen. Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. <laughs> Looks like this was made in SFM. <laughs> I'm not really following this storyline highlights so far. The Gulf, the Buff, and the Ramstein God. <laughs> So far, um, fuck it, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> what the hell, matches? You you got kiwi all over my socks. Sorry, boss. Kiwi? Get out of here. You got kiwi all over his you? socks. Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I'll shine your shoes. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Mm hmm. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Hey, kid. Yeah. What the hell is that? Hey. Ah, uh, what? I wasn't ready for this. What'd you do? I wasn't ready for this. Ah, uh, what do I do? Give me that hat, you lousy crook. Look, 
Okay, Emmett, go! A monkey out of Kid Tannen. Damn skills, boy. <laughs> Fix me up. <laughs> the manure. I hate manure. <laughs> Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. Hmm. Alright, where do I go? Oh! <laughs> oh, well, we have a problem. Uh. <laughs> no. What the fuck? What the hell is that? <laughs> Something popped up on the screen saying about keys. Them sticky keys pressed. <laughs> Press shift five times. What the fuck happened? Where did I go? Uh, I thought I could go this way. Can I not go that way? No. I don't think he's in the soup kitchen anymore. I think he's somewhere else. Hmm. Where'd I go? Let's talk to Strickland. See what she says. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. I love the sticky keys sound. <laughs> uh, that could be part of <laughs> sticky keys. Sticky keys. Sounds like me when I was growing up, when I was a teenager with my first <laughs> first ever TG. <laughs> first ever computer. <laughs> Sticky keys. <laughs> What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup well, deliveries. At least you just knew what I was talking about. What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of Too it? much information, Grim. <laughs> taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former Sticky hopeless keys. drunken bums. <laughs> I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. Stucky key sounds kinky. It does, doesn't it? Uh. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children. <laughs> it does sound like a nickname you give someone insane. someone that she masturbates all the time. Oh, I can <laughs> track of them it's a very big job. I gr Graham burnt that computer. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't actually don't know where it went. Um Hey, I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. The Italians do so many good works. 
<laughs> if you'll just fix it, I heard they add the pig on those days. What? Get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not going to <laughs> you do it with <laughs> But if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions, yeah, you can let me know when they're running low on soup.